Hello everyone, Sevi here bringing you the new 7.3 Destruction Relic and Netherlight Crucible Calculator. This is going to be a quick tutorial outlining how to use it as well as highlighting a few of its features. So this is a read-only file so I'll need to go to the top and hit file and make a copy and I can name it whatever I'd like. I've gone ahead and done that. So now this is going to be my copy that I can edit and I can use the drop downs on. So first before we start this tool is not meant to replace simming your own character. So why is it here? This is going to be an easy way to read all the sims in one place. Right now it would be extremely difficult to realistically run and display all of the possible combinations of relic affixes and crucible affixes and keep the information current. So think of this calculator as like a mini sim output compiler. So pretty much it's going to compare two relic affixes or potential crucible affixes and their sims in a user friendly manner. So how do we use this? So we're going to go up to the top and we're going to hit the number of targets. We've got one, two, and five. So this is a little different than the previous calculators uh, and it's been updated to five targets instead of three targets to better represent current gameplay situations. I'm going to keep it on one target. I'm going to go to current relic and I'm going to select my beginning relic trait that I have. I'm going to choose the relic eye level associated with it. And then I'm going to choose my tier 2 affix. If this uh, Crucible tier 2 affix is not unlocked, or if you have a non-DP affix, a uh, DPS affix, then just select none. I'm going to do the same thing with tier 3. Again, if it's not unlocked, or if you have a non-DPS affix, select non-DPS slash none. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and this would be what I would be comparing it to. So I'm going to get a little output, I get my DPS calculated, and I'm going to be told, well, th in this case, my current relic is better by 0.154%. That's not very much. So something that's really close, I highly suggest make sure that you sim your character before you start committing to anything. Um, one thing about the Netherlight Crucible is it's not going to let you uh, select two relic affixes that are the same in game and it's not going to be an option. So if you're trying to optimize this, uh, your character through this calculator, if I try to select um, the same relic affix twice, you'll see that a little error message will come up and it'll say make sure to select two that are different. Now this is not the case if I was doing it with two non-DPS because there are viable ones that have no DPS associated with it but have different affix names so those would be allowed in game. So I just wanted to make sure that that's not going to be uh, triggering that uh, little warning that's going off. If you'd like to, you can take a look at under the math tab. This is all of the sims compiled into a single location. So if you'd like to dig into it a little bit deeper, uh, you can see kind of the workings behind all of it. Please make sure that you are checking back because this information will be updated when changes are made to keep the information relevant. So you can see the date that the sims were run here and the date that I updated it here. Other charts are also going to be available on the Lost website based off of these same sims, but just put in different formats. So there's an I plus I level and also a percent gain uh, chart. They're all based off the same information. You just use whatever you feel benefits you the most and whichever one you feel that you're comfortable using. So I hope this helps. Enjoy and thanks so much for supporting Lost and its creators.